So when you listen to a Fresh Body Shop album and press play, you never know what's gonna happen. Hi everyone, this is Pedro, Fresh Body Shop. That's a tough question, as it changes a lot from one track to another. In general, I describe my music as indie pop rock songs, but I can record folk acoustic songs, upbeat party pop songs, rock songs, as well as violent industrial songs, and put it all together in the same album. So the music of Fresh Body Shot doesn't really fit with one genre. I chose that name because I knew that I would explore many directions musically and I felt that it could fit with anything. I also realized later on that this weird combination of worlds is a good thing because when you google it, you can easily find the music you're looking for. When I joined Jamendo, there were something like 5,000 albums on the platform. I decided to put some music at Jamendo because a friend of mine told me that I would probably get some feedback. And that was the case. One of my songs was picked by a very famous YouTuber and became a jingle for his channel. It made me reach some of his fans. And Jamendo licensing was also a good way to monetize my music. These are the reasons that made me continue with Jamendo. I guess that the more you compose, the more it gets natural to you. Of course, there are many methods to write a song, but if I had to sum up my creation process, I would say that I use two different methods. Then it depends on the kind of song I want to create. The first method is the classic one, picking the acoustic guitar and trying to compose something that sounds good. This is the method I use for a song like Wizard, which is very guitar-oriented. The second method consists in recording a beat and trying to directly sing on it. This method is interesting because it makes you focus on the dynamic, which is, I think, the most important thing in a song. This is the method I use for a song like Rainbow Stone. It's obvious that video became the number one media. It's probably become more interesting for a musician to release a single track with a good video clip than an entire audio-only album. I guess that musicians will have to spend more time on the visual aspect of their music in the years to come. I would just say don't necessarily follow the trends, make the music you like, experiment things, there are no limits. Well, thanks for watching. Thanks to the Jam and the team for sharing the video. Take care of yourselves. Cheers.